you're really never going to do swim a triangle or a square underwater unless you're swimming a search pattern. You're trying to do, and this is kind of some advanced skills, you're trying to find something that's lost. And then you can do an expanding square where 10 yeah. kicks, 15 kicks, 20 kicks, that's some advanced stuff. Kind of like a grid search. Kind of like a grid search, yeah. But that's not what we're talking about. Right now we're doing triangles and squares just to get you in the hang of turns and things like that. But what I do every dive, or nearly every dive, and that you should do also, is practice your compass, not practice, but use your compass at the beginning of every dive and all through the through Now the underwater, dive. does it automatically start glowing, or? No, you gotta, you gotta light it up with something. So hers does, because hers is battery-powered computer stuff. But, yeah. but no, you gotta, it's, it's, you gotta charge it with But something. can you see it during the day in the water? Yeah, you can see it, yeah. Okay, well, it'll show up really well in the water today. So just just have to do it tonight. And it's a dark night too. Yeah, so I, I I always have multiple flashlights. Like right now, I've got really. But under, you've got several ones that we can use under the water. I, I have several I'm going to use. You got to. I don't rent flashlights. That's an oh. individual. Issue. So anyway, so but what I do every dive is I set my compass, and you should do it too because you don't want to get lost. Remember, you want to find your way back to the anchor line. So if I'm if I'm right on the end of the dive boat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my heading okay so right now i know i'm going to go that way the dive guide said all the cool stuff's over there or something along those lines i know i'm going that way so before i ever jump off the boat i'm going to hold the compass down look over the top of it and i have seen north is way over there again and y'all are standing in just a little bit of my life but i'm going to try to line the two norths up again so i spun the zero to the zero okay so now i'm still floating on the surface okay so now I'm going to agree with my buddy to descend. Hey, you ready to go down? Cool, let's go down. All right, so let's go down. So I pop my ears, equalize, deflect my BC, start going down. I go down at the same speed he does. There's no, hey, I'll meet you on the bottom, buddy, because he might not be able to equalize, I might not be able to equalize. You want to stay together, descend at the same speed. Once you see the bottom approaching, you're going to start adding some air to your BC. You don't want to hit the bottom. You want to arrive at the bottom neutrally going, more like a submarine, remember. Now, as you notice, I've been talking and turning around during our descent, right? I'm not facing the same way I was when I first started descending. So, but I know I want to go the same way I was started down from. So I pick it up again, look at it again, and now I'm going to spin my body until the two marks. On my compass, it's the two zeros, so the two zeros. Now, I can't see any of that over there anymore because it's way underwater, but I know I'm facing the same way when I'm You're just following your red line. What, but no, you're keeping that there. Well, not exactly. So now I just want to go enjoy my dive. I'm facing the same way. So now what I'm going to do, and I'll be wearing this on my arm, is I'm going to go over here. Y'all come with me. Okay? I'm just kind of that. All they said is the cool stuff is that way. This is the dive site. So now I'm doing a couple of things. One is I'm noticing let's say this it's not bright enough right now but the sun is coming in off of my right shoulder just taking some observations as i go not a lot of sun coming in right at this moment but the moon is over our right shoulder right there i'm also looking around just enjoying my dive okay but i notice the sand there's kind of some lines in the sand as i go that's kind of a visual reference for some natural navigation okay but i'm not really paying much at all attention to this. I'm not, I'm generally kind of going in that direction. I'm just enjoying my dive there, okay? So there's a nurse shark under that, under that reef right there, okay? As I swim around again, just kind of vaguely going back in the direction. And I might not even be counting my kicks at this point. I'm just enjoying my dive. I'm checking my air pressure, checking on my buddy, all that kind of stuff. I'm checking out the crab that's under that or the lobster or whatever. And now I'm swimming over here, checking out this cool stuff over here. Now I look up at my SPG, and it, we've already agreed on a turnaround pressure. It depends on how deep you are and some other variables, but it's time to turn around and go back. So just to make this simple, let's say I'm at 1,700 PSI. It's time to go back. That was our agreed upon ascent pressure, or a turn pressure. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I haven't looked at my compass at all, okay? If I start to feel like I'm not facing the same way, I might pull my compass up again but I'm not that worried about it. I haven't been worried about it, but now we know it's time to go back. So I'm gonna pick my compass up and I'm gonna align the 180 and the zero or the north and the south. So I'm pointing exactly the same way. Now swimming out, I wasn't really looking for, I wasn't really paying that much attention to my compass. And I didn't thought go in a straight line either, but it's time to go back. I know I'm facing back now, but it might not be 
like it might not be straight back here it might be 20 feet that way and straight back too but it's still going back so now i'm going to watch my compass the entire time but i'm also looking around to see things that i recognize okay so i remember when i went out the sun was coming in on my right shoulder now it's on the left shoulder so i know i'm doing well here i also remember these lines that were in the sun okay so i see the lines that's my i know that I remember the lines being on the other side, so I'm probably a little bit left of where I started, but that's okay, I'm still headed back. Now I'm starting, and I've got a rough idea of how many kicks I did, but as I start looking around, I'm looking for the anchor line, I'm looking for the boats, more things I recognize, and usually you'll see the anchor line at some point. If just about every time I start doubting myself and maybe consider going up, it's usually like 10 more feet from where I was. So like I'm always, once you get used to it, but you need to practice this every dive because this is an important skill. You don't want to surface away from the dive boat. You need to surface on the dive boat. Now, worst case scenario, you're running low on air, which is all your fault. You can surface wherever you want to. You're going to be open water divers. So that means you can always do an ascent to the surface. But if you surface 300 yards that way, it's going to be a really, really long surface swim. And you don't want to do that. And we've got some contingencies in place if that happens. But it's going to suck for you no matter what. And down in Florida, is that a boat dive? Or? No, that's a, that's a beach dive. It's a but, um, do you all have questions about this? No, but I nice. would do this every dive. I always Now, I don't do it in Florida or at the quarry because I kind of could do that with my eyes closed. But somewhere that I'm not going to be able to do it with my eyes closed, I always set the compass. Another thing I do is a little bit different. Sometimes we do shore dives, like in, in Bonaire, we'll do shore dives to where you wait in at the beach and you kind of go kind of go in and the, the coral runs off down and deeper and you kind of find like the depth you want to be at because it's consistent. So let's say I want to do a 60 foot dive. I swim this way for 60 feet or whatever I've kind of 60 feet or 60 feet of depth. And then when I get to that 60 feet of depth, I'm going to turn this way. And that means the coral is now perfectly on my left shoulder. Now, sometimes I'll set my compass just to remind me where shore is just in case or whatever. Sometimes if I'm doing a dive from the dive boat that's kind of near shore, I'll set shore as my compass point. Just worst case scenario, I can find land. But you just kind of figure out the best solution for you. But I would practice and use this every day. Does that kind of sort of make sense? All right, any questions? We'll have those at the night. We'll have those down in Florida. Yeah.